Welcome back, beautiful Capricorns, and thank you for joining me here, everyone. This is your bonus reading, Capricorn. Let's get straight to your messages. Messages for Capricorn. Capricorn energy. Hmm. Sanat Kumara, open channel. Download sacred information being downloaded to Yeshiva. Karma release. The end of a cycle. Debts are paid. Choose your destiny. Divine knowledge. Higher learning. Commit to your vision through study. It's like you are a channel. You're an open channel for signs, codes, downloads, and sacred information. Your whatever debts you owe, they're paid. The blue beings, light transmission, wounds are healed, important information. You're charging up. Transcending fear. Facing fear leads to fearlessness. Embrace your power. Bridget, inner fire. Let your passion lead you to your purpose. Some of you are channelers. Expanded heart. Liberation. Let yourself love and be loved. Face your fears. Hmm. Okay, tell me about this fierce fire here. What is this fierce fire here leading to fearlessness? What is this fearlessness? channel the truth Fierceness, fearlessness, challenging your fears makes you fearless. Oh my, oh my goodness. Healing, some of you are healers. Some of you can channel the deceased. Some of you are open channels to signs, clues, channels hmm. what's this all about here challenge your fears Challenge your fears. When you challenge your fears, it makes you fearless. It's like you were chosen. Hmm. 
Mm. Don't be afraid. Challenge your fears. Healing. Be open to love and to accept love. Challenge your fears. Be open to love, to give love and receive love. Don't be afraid. When you challenge your fears, it makes you fear less. Someone is a channeler. Someone is psychic gifts. Someone is could be a psychic medium. Mm. Doing things for the higher good, I'm telling you. Stay rooted, stay grounded, know your value, know your worth. Take this on as a challenge. Take this on as a challenge. Triumph over your fears. That's the fearless. Take it on as a challenge. Overcome this fear. So someone's afraid to phone you. <laughs> someone's afraid to message you. <laughs> Capricorn, what did you do? <laughs> someone's afraid to phone you or message you. Or you're afraid to phone and message someone. And they're saying, challenge your fears. Because when you do, before you know it, you will be fearless. This is Ten of Cups. This is, well, somebody may have hurt you. <laughs> it's like somebody... I don't know if it's fear of rejection, fear of if it's like facing those demons, you know, whatever they are. It's like It's 
fear, it's worry, stress. Worried about making something right with you or worried about giving you an apology. I think somebody Worried about opening up. This is answer the call. It's like somebody has these gifts, but they're terrified to use them. Like they have these gifts, but they're terrified to use them. It's almost as if some of you are channelers, psychic mediums. You know stuff that other people don't know. And you may be afraid for some of you to disclose that information. Fear of judgment, fear of people making fun of you or my god those are gifts you know sometimes i'm going to be real with you capricorn sometimes i get messages like that and, and i can't judge you because i get afraid of that myself there are certain messages that come through like oh my goodness some of them even spook me out because I pick up on certain things that I shouldn't be, that I feel I shouldn't be picking up on, like that things that would be embarrassing to say or things that, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? Like, especially if they're, I, I freeze even saying it. So I get it. Like, this is something personally that I struggle with. Like, I have these gifts. Uh, I can be a medium. I can pick up on deceased people. And I've been like that for a long, long time. But it was my fear of opening up that door to that realm because it's like, quite honestly, it can get scary. Some of you are being asked to do that. Some of you have those gifts where you can connect with people who have crossed over, people who have, you know, gone through painful endings, if you want to put it that way, tragic endings. Some of you could be picking up on that energy. And it's like, I don't know. I have always been hesitant to call myself a psychic 
I've been hesitant to call myself a medium, quite honestly, because I know that I've been too afraid to open that door. So for me, this is what it means. For you guys, it can be very similar. In a love read, it means you're chicken shit. <laughs> okay, you're scared to open your heart again. You're scared to open your heart again. You're scared to trust again. You're scared to be open to that again in case it ends in tragedy. But if you think those thoughts, that is self-sabotage. So it's training the mind and training the heart. It is. And I can't beat you for that up either. I can't. Because we've all been there. It's a hard thing to do. To open yourself up. It is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's easy because it isn't. I can't sit here honestly and tell you, Capricorn, open up your heart and do this and do that. When I myself am sitting there, I don't want to open my heart. <laughs> I don't want to open my heart. <laughs> I don't. I'll open my heart to my dog. To my kids, my grandkids, and several other people, but I'm not, a, I'm not opening my heart and spirits after me to do so, and I'm not doing it. I keep saying I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not willing. So I'm picking up on this with you guys, and I can't, I can't judge you, I can't give you shit, I cannot. I cannot. I'm not going to sit there and pretend all frou-frou stuff and love and fluff and, and, you know, you hear it. Keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. As long as you're loving yourself and you're loving someone else or something else, your heart is open. I cannot, in all good conscience, Tell you guys, you know, open your heart and be healed and all that stuff because it's a process. You're damn well going to do it when you're damn well ready to do it. Each person is different. I'm serious. I can't give you a hack. I'm sorry. I, I can't because it's a personal decision. It's not like I can't open my heart to somebody. And it's the same with you. It's not like you can't open your heart to somebody. It just takes a lot of conquering fears. Takes a lot of, you know. But when you take those fears on, you become fearless. And that's true. That's what the universe is trying to say. So like getting back out on the date scene or getting back into a love relationship is extremely difficult when you've gone through a brutal relationship. And I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat that. No, I can't do it. It can't. I can't. It's not happening. And it's the same for me when it comes to some of my gifts. Like Spirit is calling me to um, open that door. And I was like, I can do it with crossed over loved ones. What I'm talking about. is far beyond that. It's like, it could be solving crimes. It could be using your gifts 
to help solve crimes, giving answers to people that need them. Now, that's a darn hard thing to do and I would never consider doing it on this platform. Nope. It would have to be a personal thing. I would never do it publicly, ever. Nope. 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 It's too personal. It, it's too personal. And that's why I won't do it. And plus, I'm scared. Now, I'm going to be real. I'm scared. Like, I was having visions when I was a kid, and I got scared, okay? <laughs> like, I had some freaky experiences, guys, and I I'm serious. I was a grown-ass woman, and I fled. <laughs> I was like, out of there. I packed up everything I owned and moved. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to open that door to no, no, no. Because when you open those realms, I am, I, at the time anyway, I didn't have a clue how to handle it. I didn't. I didn't have a clue how to handle it. I know a lot more now, like way more than I did. But, jeez, that's what this is getting at. So some of you are psychic mediums. And, like, you probably can channel, you know, deceased uh, loved ones. But, like, some of you might be like me. It's like... I'm building up courage. <laughs> put it to you that way but I'm not there yet I I don't want to start if the opportunity came to me and if I would I would try I would I would try as long as it was nothing sinister <laughs> But you can't pick and choose that stuff, right? I, I don't know if I'm making any sense to you. You guys got the gifts, so... It is telling you... Facing your fear leads to fearlessness. Embrace your power. You got this. You are privy to sacred information. And that's why I'm telling you this. You are privy to sacred information as channelers. You could actually be the type that go through a meditation. You could talk to people on the other side and bring back that information. You might be where um, you let people channel through you to give messages. That, I'm not at that point where I'm going to allow that. That freaks me out. And I am afraid of it. And I'm going to be honest, I am afraid of it. <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here and pretend, you know, I'm so... No, I'm a regular person who has regular feelings and that stuff scares the heck out of me. Like, I would have to do that with somebody around me. I could not do that on my own. I would have to have somebody who I totally trusted. I could do it and I know I'm able to do it because I've done it. Um, but I have to have someone who knows what they're doing with me in case something goes wrong.
Like, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot, a lot. And quite honestly, I take my hats off to the ones that are. Like, whatever happened to, like, Amy Allen? Remember she used to do the Dead Files? She's a psychic medium. It's just like she vanished. You know what I mean? She's a very talented lady. Like, she put herself out there for people. I'm telling you. I don't know if I could do it like that. I I don't think that I... I well, see... I'm, I'm talking just like Spirit said in the read. I'm scared. But I'm supposed to challenge those fears so that you become fearless. And I can't argue with Spirit because they're here. <laughs> and they're like... <laughs> Guys, I get it. So a lot of you are very extremely gifted. And I do understand the fear of it. I do. And I do understand the fear of opening your heart to love again. I, I understand that as well. It's... I If I say any more, I'm making excuses. It is what it is. It's conquering those fears. It is what it is. And address it. And those are things that you can pray for and ask for, for help to get over those fears. Um, it's there. And it's real. It is. And I get it. And maybe together we can conquer them fears. Because, you know, truthfully, you deserve love. Take care.